So one thing I recommend if you're able to, if you've got the means, if you've got a rental car or somebody that you're here visiting maybe has the ability to take you or loan you a vehicle, uh, check out some of these free spots instead of going to these pay archaeological sites. There's so many free spots that you can visit and they're just really neat sites because you can just wander around and just really use your imagination because they're unexcavated. But we are at uh, Kianai, if I'm saying that correctly. It's about, oh, it's about 30 minutes from Dimre. Yeah. Uh, so we decided today, instead of going to St. Nicholas Church, which is a pay entry, we would come check out this free site here. And uh, just as you park, uh, this road's a little rough, but uh, you can make it. We came in a little high on day. Um, but just as you come up to the very top of the uh, road, you get to this theater here, as you can see behind us. So we're going to go up there and check that out, but it looks like it's pretty in pretty good uh, shape so far. And uh, we just came across a really big uh, cistern here. This is an impressive cistern. This thing is really big. And the seating here is really neat. It has like a lip on a lot of it. And then even I just saw these ones here have backs. So these must have been the good seats with the backing here. There's a whole roll all the way around with the backing. Well, as we do, we got to go up to the top and check out the view, huh? So this theater actually had post holes, as you can see there, for an awning for when the weather was a little rougher. They would just throw up some uh, awning and uh, people would be either, you know, kept out of the rain or maybe even they would use it to keep you out of the uh, intense sun at certain points. So check out this particular row of seating that has the backing. It's pretty good. I like this spot. This is the primo seats, so you can kick back. Beautiful view from up here. Careful, some of these stones are a little loose. But after, uh, I guess, a couple thousand years, they're in pretty good shape. This is a decent size. I didn't see any numbers on uh, how many people it would have fit. Was this the back row? Yep. Makes it relaxing in the VIP seats. So Bye. There's this whole huge area here that I don't think was a building, but maybe I'm guessing it was like the Agora, and that's where the um, sales of your common uh, goods would have been set, uh, sold there. And it's just on this really neat platform, and you can see out to the sea over there and also this way. But what a perfect spot that would have been for everyone to uh, congregate there. So here's this larger walled area. That I was pointing out from when we were up there. As you can see, there's just all kinds of small stones here. Kind of curious what this area would have been used for. Well, wouldn't you have it another cistern? It's neat the how they plastered the walls. It's like a maybe whatever they would have been making the pottery out of at the time. Some type of like mixer that they would have used. Uh, like free like concrete something like that right like i know they used a lye mixture for mortar maybe something like that pre-concrete concrete right we're heading up a bit further away from that theater just there where we were i want to see if we can make our way all the way up to those walls up there but as you can see here as we've come around the corner there's just a bunch of these sarcophagus here so this area is just covered in sarcophagi This area here? Yeah. I'd say so. I think you're right. So from what I was reading, this was one of the more wealthy Lycian cities. It was saying that, uh, in fact, this city would uh, financially support other cities in this uh, area here. And if I had to guess, I'd say... This was definitely a cistern. Oh my god, watch your phone. It's a pretty uh, decent sized one as well. Just kind of has a couple of capstones here. It would have just lowered some things down in there to get water buckets and such. So many of these sarcophagi have been toppled. This one's just been collecting rainwater here. You can see actually all the way to the sea from here. This would have been a beautiful city in its day. The name of this place, um, 
it translated to something like deep blue or something like that, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. And the reason they called it that was apparently there was an oracle here and there was a, a pool of water. I'm not sure if that's something we'll encounter or not, but the pool of water was said to uh, allow people to see particular people in their lives and what they were doing at that time. So people would come here to uh, spy on their loved ones, I guess. So one of the neat parts about some of these free sites that are um, unexcavated and unregulated is that you can really just wander around and see all the different nooks and crannies. Uh, there's still like a decent trail that leads through, but for the most part, everything's overgrown and it's just really neat to use your imagination in these places. Rachel and I were thinking this was like an old gate here. Right, you can kind of see where it would be like, you know, a decorative piece on the top here. Right. We just came upon this. It's like an underground room. Oh, I'd hop down in there, but I'd be afraid I couldn't get back out. That tree might afford me to get out, but maybe not. That's freaking cool. And we're just on top of that. Look, at just underneath us is that room down there. And you would never even know it until you walked upon it. I was thinking that maybe this was the temple that was here because it kind of reminds me of the setup at uh, Claros that we saw they built the temple underground and the oracle you actually went and saw them underground um, so maybe that's what that is all right guys my curiosity's got the best of me so I'm going down into this pit <laughs> wish him luck this might be my death on video so wish me luck oh, ow see I'm already getting jacked up oh. your hair looks really great though babe oh, thanks Okay, right, so be far, careful. So good. Here, let me see that. Oh. All right. Should just be able to hop down. Oh. All right, I didn't die. So that's good. But check out the underside of this. Pretty neat. Those slabs are just, just there. We were walking on them. And look at these designs in here, how the moss is growing on them. But let's take a real quick look over here. Whoa, slippery. Wow, there's another hole there. That's a trip. I wonder if this was a cistern too then. Because I'm looking, there's another hole over here, babe. Oh, maybe. Because there's no exit or entry. It's just a big solid room. So I think it was a really, just a really solid uh, cistern here. Pretty cool. Better climb out now. Yeah, maybe that area we were just in was, uh, had something to do with the oracle. Who knows? Because... Here's what is like what we generally see is like a cistern, and that one was a bit ornate. But I'll tell you guys, paying to go to some of these sites isn't always better. This site's really neat, and if you are one who likes to hike or likes nature, this one's perfect because there's this awesome little trail and just all this antiquity as you go along. And plus, there's a really awesome view down to the sea there. So it's really just a win-win. You get to get a little exercise, you get to see some nature, and you get to see this ancient site all at the same time. So you can see where all these sarcophagus have the holes knocked in them so they could be pillaged. And then here's a look inside. So I imagine as long as these sat here, the bones would have probably have turned to dust, but you would have been left with your relics, you know, pieces of gold, precious metals, and things of that nature. And so they would just knock a hole, maybe large enough for a small child to be lowered in, or this one's fairly large, larger person could have got down in there. And then they would have just loaded up on all the, uh, the goods and went about their business. Just reached the outer walls of this Acropolis. Pretty impressive. These are some of the bigger stones I've seen on some of these walls. And you can't see much from here. Maybe you can see the sea a bit through there, but I have a feeling when we get up a little higher, we're going to have quite the view. There's some snow-capped peaks over here. Let's see if we can make it up through here. Well, what do you guys think? Pretty good view, huh? It was snowing a couple days ago up on these peaks. 
They're nice and coated there. Look at just below here, it's so beautiful. There's the theater there. There's actually our car just parked there. And there was one other set of people here. When we got here, they were up on that theater. So we headed up this way to give them their space. And and uh, that way we could walk about up here and have our space. But we haven't even seen them. So that's pretty cool. That's one of the neat things about uh, venturing to these free sites. This road was a little seedy, actually, as we came up. I wasn't sure our little Hyundai was going to make it. But uh, it got us here. So I'm thankful for that. Well, it's gotten pretty dense. And I'm pretty sure we've lost the trail. But it just kind of shows you how neat this site is, how overgrown it all is. But as you can see, there's just wall bases and walls just all around. I wonder if we can get up there. It looks like one of the highest points, actually. All right, I think I found some old stairs here. What do you guys think? Something like that. It certainly heads up here. I wonder if this was an old temple. Well, it wasn't exactly a temple, but... Another very large cistern. I'm very impressed with how many cisterns there were here. But if this was one of the uh, more wealthy Lycian cities, I imagine it had a decent population. And so it wouldn't have been foolish of them to have more than one uh, water collection site. Oh, look at those mountains over there too. So it looks like the site runs that way. You can see some stones sticking out there. Even through there I can see some, but it's just so overgrown that uh, you can't really see it all. Imagine if this site was excavated, it'd be pretty neat. This is the land of the butterfly, apparently. Oh. Tons of butterflies up here. You know, I was just saying this would, site would be super neat if it was excavated, but with that comes regulations, limitations, and uh, large amounts of people. Right, ropes and things you can't bypass. Right, this... Um, road that we came up on was, uh, like I was saying, a little seedy, so they'd have to put some decent work in to be able to allow for, um, like, buses and things to be able to bring large groups of tourists. As far as right now, like, our little Hyundai barely made it up here, but, uh, you know, like I said earlier, that's nice, though. It's a limitation on uh, who's going to actually be up here. One of the larger rooms we've come across, this is just a big, almost circular room here. Thing. Oh, is that like another oh, water guy? Well, I'll tell you, I'm certainly impressed at how many cisterns there are here. There must have been already at least 10 or something that we've seen. They weren't messing around with their water supply here. I wonder if it was somehow tied to uh, plumbing as well. It's really neat how these cisterns are plastered so people would have they would have dug it out, I imagine, and then climbed down in there and plastered it and then capped it with rock. It's pretty uh, neat how they were able to do this back in the day. Although this little area we just popped out on is neat, it's kind of like the upper portion of the uh, Acropolis here. Um, this is not where I wanted to be. I want to be further down there. Now we have to go down somehow. And it's pretty thick through here in certain spots. But I think we can head down this way. It looks like there's starting to be some more sarcophagus there. But as you can see, there's uh, where we were, where all the lower portion of the necropolis is there. Well, we were just there, and I started saying, look at all this, like, walls collapsed. And you can just see it's all piled here. But as we started to come down and see if we can find our way, I noticed there were some rooms here. I don't know if they're very large, but... Let's go in and check them out. Gotta take my sunglasses off so I can see. Oh, neat. Whoa, so cool! This definitely wasn't a cistern because it has no openings from the roof and it has a doorway and what appears to be a window actually. And they've stoned it up, which is kind of curious. And here's what I was saying in like the cisterns, they have this like concrete type seal on them. Oh, this is cool. It's so cool how we were standing up on top of that. Look, it goes deeper. Oh, wow. Secret room. And like all the dirt's been collapsing out from there, huh? Looks like it. 
man. Or if it's just been running down through here and piling up right here. Oh, pretty crazy, man. Some little uh, storage areas or something. I think maybe it was like a, a defensive area and the soldiers would hang out here because it seems to be built into the defensive wall. Rachel was just saying maybe this is a defensive position because this would have uh, allowed someone to go deeper into maybe a different strategic position for defense. And this was um, on the outer portion of the larger wall. So maybe this was the lower you know, guard portion. And then these guys had a couple of air holes and a window. But check out this uh, massive snail right here. That thing's freaking huge. I think it's got to be at least two inches across, I'd say. So here's a good example of this wall, which I'm assuming was a defense wall, but you can see these are the inner and outer sides, and then the middle there is just where it was filled in with uh, looser, smaller rocks. But look how big that wall was. Look how thick it was. That's got to be, I don't know, over a meter thick, huh? Several feet. Yeah, maybe even two meters. Kind of neat. That's the highway we came off of, up onto this rockier road. There's the outside of that wall I was just showing you guys from the top. But, thankfully, oh look at that. This whole rock looks like it's been moved or something. Interesting. We found the path. Most importantly, we are back on a path. I don't know if it's necessarily a um, sight path or a sheep path, but either way it's working because these um, bushes in here are pretty sharp, man. They were getting us pretty good. Look at these walls right here, babe. Hey, look, I think that's like a niche like a, um, for a statue worship thing. All right, look at this one, how this oh, one's so flat. Oh, right, and this one's, that almost looks like it was a, a water collection right? there. Maybe there's a uh, another cistern underneath this. There probably is. All right, and look at this wall here nice and flat oh look at just there like you're saying like a niche for uh yeah. some type of statue and some yeah. almost looks like uh like the plaster and the color still in there it sure does man you can see here someone was definitely digging for something they knew about something maybe because they've just torn into the side of here and Wow, how curious. This was just a... Uh, it's not like there is any um, thing established. It looks like they were just blasting the the solid rock. Well, that's... Interesting, huh? Okay. But there's old steps there, so that's curious. Huh. Maybe they thought something was there. Look, maybe this was um, big drainage, and like there's a hole there. Huh. Maybe it came down in here. So check this out. This was almost like a, a carved like pool area. I wonder if this was uh, some type of area where people would make wishes or something weird back in the day. And these guys just blasted down to get to the bottom of the source where the coins and things would have ran from these little wells and collected all these different coins. Yeah, there's another cistern here. Right? And you can see how this whole area, it looks almost like it would have been a fountain or something wild. It's pretty crazy. Well, I have to say, if you're in the area of Dimray, maybe you were over there checking out uh, Santa Claus's uh, church. What was the, the site? Uh, Myra. Myra yeah. my, the ancient site of Myra. And you have the time. Come out of your way to check out the uh, site here. I gotta say I enjoyed this site more than most of the pay sites that we've gone to here in Turkey. It was really enjoyable, really got to use my imagination, it was a nice little hike, we got to romp through some of the uh, rougher parts and uh, even just as we're leaving here there's just neat little things tucked in the trees and you gotta work your way back in there to see a lot of this stuff. Yeah, wear long sleeves, yeah. thick pants. Good shoes. These particular trees that are here have really sharp, jagged leaves, and they're uh, pretty rough on the legs and stuff. But I gotta say, like I was saying, it, it's, it was a nice spot. I really enjoyed it, uh, and so I would definitely recommend it. And uh, 
yeah stop by and see it if you're in the area stay safe and stay sane guys thanks for coming along